Welcome back, everyone, to the Random Street. Today is going to be episode 75, win 75 also. Free here, going to happen, no issues whatsoever. Now, question of the day, put your answer in the comments down below, is going to be, what is your favorite movie genre? Me? I I'm kind of, like, torn, right? Because I've been watching a... Ooh, forgot? Yes, go! I've been watching a lot of horror movies recently. Um, this is going to be, by the way, uh, LT1EEE7T. Very uh, nice seed today, it looks like. We're gonna have a good run. I, I feel it in my bones right now. Get it? My bones, but... I've been watching a lot of, like, suspense horror movies, and I don't know. It depends where you call, like, the genre line at, right? Because if you wanted to say, like, you know, oh, suspense is a genre, you gotta say that a lot of other small things are also genres, and having to draw, draw that kind of distinction between a genre line is gonna be really, really hard, but if I had to pinpoint one specific type of genre, it probably would be, like, suspense horror or, like, suspense thriller, I guess. Movies like, uh... Jake Gyllenhaal's Enemy, or, um, shows like, you know, uh, ooh, ooh, okay, okay, I see you, white boy, hold the phone, dude, we're gonna have another one of these, aren't we, <laughs> okay, here we go, it's a magic skin, uh, kill the soul immediately kind of run, isn't it, well, 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 yeah, I don't know, movies like Jake Gyllenhaal's Enemy, TV shows like Twin Peaks, you know, things that are, really just keep you on the edge of your seat but aren't like you know, i think i think horror movies get a bad rap i think a lot of recent horror has just become like jump scares and while jump scares are yeah like they're okay i guess in some scenarios like when, when movies are just revolving around it being a jump scare it's not fun to watch anymore like the reason i liked enemy so much is because a enemy had a great like the, the the sound design on that movie is crazy it's on the same level with me as like the shining was it's that good if you haven't watched Enemy, I believe it's on um, HBO. Maybe it's Hulu or Amazon. It's, I know it's it's not Netflix. All I know is it's not Netflix. But fantastic! Look at that too. Fantastic movie, honestly. Really, really, really high class. But yeah, I don't know. I, I like thriller movies. I, I just like being on the edge of my seat. You know, always engaged. And on top of that, I also finished um, the Netflix show Midnight Mass last night. And I gotta say, man. For a show that, I think it was like 12 episodes long, maybe it was like only like 10. Let's say it was 10. 9 out of 10 of those episodes were straight fucking gold. They were all so good. Episode 10? Kinda trash. Kinda trash. The finale of that show, no, I'm not gonna spoil too much. I'm just gonna say that like, it was way too fucking weird to even warrant like, <laughs> any kind of praise, I feel like. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, terrible. It wasn't like, you know, oh, it's the worst thing ever made, but... With the rest of the show being so good, that ending was just qu quite a letdown, I would say. It really, it really deviated from the actual thematic like presence of the show, and I didn't, I didn't like that deviation where it almost felt like it was taking what happened in the show and throwing it all away for a different explanation. It, it was just, I don't know, man. I, I didn't think, I didn't vibe with it too much, but it was, it was a, almost like I would say, aside from the ending, if the ending wasn't the way it was, it would be an eight out of ten show. Because of the ending being the way it was, I'll have to say like seven, six, uh, seven and a half, I, I would say. Uh, six and a half, I don't know. It, it was pretty slow to begin with, but once you got into it, it became like really fucking cool. And overall, it was just, you know, it had great actors, it had great lines, you know. Um, the, the sound direction, again, much like Enemy or The Shining, was very suspenseful and very like, almost kind of melodramatic. It makes you feel like you're gonna, you know, something big's about to happen. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it was a very, very, very good show. That's about all that I can say about it. <laughs> Without spoiling too much, but I, I, I liked it. And aside from finishing that, I'm gonna uh, force my girlfriend to finish uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies with me. Because I've already watched them like six times over, but Desi hasn't seen like any of them. But we watched uh, one and two together. She liked them. We're gonna finish At World's End tonight. I do not count movie four or five as pirate movies. I refuse to. Um, are you a range upgrade? You are not. I think banana tears are still fine. That's okay. I'd rather have that than like a really bad blind item, I guess. But yeah, uh, I, I, I'm going to finish the pirate movies tonight. Um, I finished Midnight Mass. I'm going to watch the new uh, Jake Gyllenhaal movie. I, I forget what it's called. It's about a, a 911 operator, which I think is a very cool premise for a movie. I think... Uh, He's in a lot of, like, weird cop roles, like Jake Gyllenhaal is, and, um, he always plays them, like, really, really well. 
but I'm getting really tired of movies having like police roles that A, are portrayed as heroic because current climate, and B, are just them in the action, you know? The, the role of Jake Gyllenhaal is, the, what I understand about the movie so far is that it takes place on a phone call with a caller who's inside the Twin Towers, like as it's, as it's collapsing. And that is a really, really, really cool idea and premise. And I want to see where they take it. Oh, boy. Um, might be a little bit rough here first. Yeah, there's one. And you're gone. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Ooh, Hive Mind is not bad at all. We actually have a... Why do we have so much goddamn money? Holy shit. We already saw... No, no stars card needed. We already saw our item room. I'm gonna skip Devil for Angel so we can use Magic Skin in a way better room. Um, yeah. So far, the run's going great. I played on Metroid Dread on stream today, and I gotta say, did not have a great time with it. Despite me being a huge platformer fan, I just really did not vibe with the game, and I think that a lot of that was just... I, I think the game was really okay. Oh, well, maybe... No, you know what? Devil Devil deal now, I guess. We have one guppy item, but... The, the thing... It was really okay, and then just so many uh, small, annoying features in that game just really turned me away from it. One of those uh, being the controls. Now... Most of the time, controls in games are, you can change them and they're, or they're, or, you know, or they're fine as is. There are two buttons in that game that I think were really counterintuitive. One of those being that when you, uh, crouch in that game, you don't hold down to crouch. It actually toggles. So if you're crouching, you cannot stand up unless you uncrouch. What kind of decision is that? <laughs> I don't understand that at all. We'll walk in here, I guess. Hey, you know what, buddy? You know what? Uh... The soul's alive, yeah? Yeah, quarter. Honestly, more money. For, we'll, go, we'll go buy a hive mine now, I guess. For, 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 for Guppy anyways, but... Uh, the crouch being a toggle is super annoying because then if I'm crouching and I want to uncrouch, I can't just move. I have to literally press down again to uncrouch. It's, it's really, really frustrating for no reason. And the other thing being the, the sliding mechanic, the two big gripes I have with that is when you slide in that game, you have to already be moving. Unlike games like, you know, Kirby or like, you know... Smash Bros, like when you're doing a, a down tilt, you can be standing still and then dash. You have to already be moving to dash, so if you're in a room where it's like, there's a one block thing you want to go through, you have to like get a running start for it. it it's just, it doesn't make any sense. And aside from that, crouch is, or not crouch, sorry. Um, I feel like I should, I, I want my, my, you know, um, slide to be on right trigger, but it's on left trigger, which I got used to, but why don't, why don't these games have control switches? Like, I feel like every modern game should have a way to change your controls. Like, why why doesn't it? That's a very, like, you know, easy thing to implement. Most games that I know have that kind of toggle. You go, hey, you don't like attack being on A? Put it on Y instead. You have that option in most games, I feel like. So I don't know why Nintendo is just so fucking bad with it. And every game they put out is just like, these are your controls, get used to it. Even, like, fucking Mario, man. Um, if you're on, like, a GameCube or a USB controller, you can't switch your controls. And the most you can do is switch it from, like, A to jump to, like, Y to jump. Which is, like, why can't I just have fully customizable controls? It's, it's so easy to implement into a game. I don't, it's just frustrating when it's not there. If I had the option to switch my controls, or at least toggle the toggle crouch, I'd be in a way better position. But aside from that, I'm just not big on Metroidvanias. I find them to be kind of stupid. <laughs> Because, like, the way I experienced Metroid Dread was I played... So the first half hour of the game, I played for 10 minutes and I cut scenes for the other 20 minutes of it. Literally, we timed it out. It was 10 gameplay minutes, 30 minutes of, you know, whatever bullshit was there. Which, whatever, right? I, I can deal with cut scenes at the beginning of a game. I'm not, like, against that. But when I play a game, I want to be put into the... Oh, Jesus. What are these awful-ass pills? Burp for, uh, I'm excited, hilarious. Small pills in there, something's wrong. Um, yeah, kind of a shitty, uh, <laughs> pill thing there. Yeah, aside, like, it, I didn't play for a lot of the first half of the game because it was cutscenes. And when I actually got to play, everything was fine. I like the combat is very, the combat satisfying. Like, honest to God, you, using your parry is so fucking fun. But then I got to, uh, the second area in the game. And I cleared it all the way through. And I could not find where to go. I had about 20 of you guys watching. And nobody in chat could figure out where to go. Wow, two... F we're already two parts, um... 
What's it called? Oh my god, wait, what? This run might be game break potential right now. Hold the fucking phone. Um, I had a lot of you in chat who were there, and no one knew where to go. I backtracked the entirety. I, I spent two hours in the second area. Half of that time was me backtracking, trying to find where the fuck to go. Because the game, you know, it's not supposed to lay it out to you. That's the point of Metrovania. You're supposed to experience it for yourself. But I explored every single door. And my, my other biggest gripe is that in a Metroidvania game, when, the, when the, the, you know, main, like, you know, premise of it is exploration in a, in a 2D or platforming environment, you want to be able to explore, and when you get a new power, you want to use that power. So why, Met why, why in Metroid Dread, when I get a power, it locks off the previous, like, I, when I tried to go back to the first part of the game so I could use my power to go through different doors, the part, it was, it was blocked off. You know, I don't care if it leads to nowhere. I want to explore and see new things. I don't want to be, you know, told, you can't go there yet. It's an exploration game, but you can't explore. That pissed me off. I was like, I want to do stuff. And then besides that, I could not find the exit. I literally spent an hour with chat. We couldn't find the exit. So I, I just stopped streaming. I was like, whatever. I'm kind of done with the game. I'm sure, like, I'm sure if you're a Metroidvania fan, you like it. But I, I don't think, I think Metroidvania games are, are just not, you know, entertaining. I like being in the action. I don't like being, you know, spending my entire gameplay walking around, just trying to find out where the fuck to go. That kind of stuff, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't sit with me well, you know? I, I like making progress, not just... Ooh. Ooh. Well, 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 well. Okay. This uh, turned out to be a pretty fucking valuable room for us. Oh, there's my eternal heart. Damn, dude. I kind of needed that. <laughs> I have, like, no bony HP. Yeah, I don't know. I just think that it's kind of just a, a, a lameish genre. I I'm sure, like, off-stream the game is more fun because I'm not trying to constantly entertain people. But either way, I don't think I would enjoy it too much. Should we even go for knife? I mean, might as well. We can get an extra item for ourselves, but I just... I, just, I don't know. It, they're really, really, really boring to me. I, I didn't have a single time where I was actually, like... I felt engaged. I felt mostly like I was just, um... For half of it, watching a fucking movie. Like, I, the, the cutscenes were a little bit much to a point. And then when I wasn't watching the movie, just trying to figure out the game's, like, cryptic-ass, you know, traveling mechanic and, and the map and all that stuff. And it's just like, I don't know. I want to use my combat. I want to kill bosses. The boss fight I played, the boss fight was really fun and it was pretty difficult. I enjoyed the difficulty on that boss fight. Problem is, I only had to fight one boss in three hours because I didn't know where the fuck I was going and it wasn't, you know, telegraphed well. Even Kilvin, who had already beaten that part of the game, did not know where to go. That, I feel like this is kind of an issue with game design. If you're making a game, and someone who's beaten your game gets lost in your, you know, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, gee, we almost just fucking died right there, hello? And someone gets lost in your goddamn world, that just, se that just seems like poor design, I don't know. At least make it more, like, if someone wants to just play the game so they can get through it and see the story and all that, like, most, again, most, oh, why did I go in here? Most, like, Nintendo games have, like, a feature where it's, like, a little brother mode, right? Where it'll show you where to go. It'll give you hints. I think of, like, in Zelda when you have, like, the Sheikah Stones. Why aren't those in, like, Metroid? Because that's a much more confusing game than Zelda is. I don't want that knife piece. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip this area. It just was really frustrating because I just didn't know what to do. I wasn't making any progress. I was just sitting around doing nothing, and there was no hint of anything happening. And when I finally went back all the way to the beginning, or, sorry, not the beginning, the beginning was closed off. I couldn't go back to the other world yet. This might be having more powers to explore the previous world. I couldn't go back. The game was said, no, you can't go back yet. Which kind of defeats the purpose of exploration in a Metroidvania environment, but I digress on that point. But when I wanted to actually, you know, go back and look for other ways to go around, I found a secret block. I'm like, oh, is this the block I gotta randomly break so that it opens up, you know, a path for me to go onto? Nope, it was a dead end. It doesn't seem like it's <laughs> clever design to me at all. I don't know. I went into it with high hopes, and I, I came out severely disappointed. And I think that the game has amazing ratings. Like, you should play the game. If you like Metroidvanias, play the game. I'm sure it's incredible. Just not for me. But I think the, the ratings are as high as they are. And I'm not, not trying to diss the game at all. But because it's been 10 years since our last 2D Metroid game, people are, like, fiending for this one, right? I think that's, like partially the reason why it's just uh, we'll do one of these wow my favorite curse room item huh Ooh, tech time yeah baby throw the tech bone oh yeah laser laser here we go 
it's just not for me, and in the end of the day, it doesn't really matter too much. It's just... The game just didn't sit with me. I thought it was extremely boring, and I thought that the only fun parts of the game were very far in between because they just wanted you to explore more than actually use the new combat and stuff. And if the game was just a beat-em-up where it's that kind of combat, oh, that'd be fucking amazing. It's so simple, but it works so well. The other thing is, too, um... The game's whole progression of, like, you go into different worlds, the way it works is that you go to a new world, and your goal is to kill the, the, like, the boss that's there, obviously, right? Get a new power, explore some more, go to the next world. It's very, very linear. And I like linearity. I like when games are linear. But they have to be interesting, too. Because the idea, that game's idea of, like, God, what are these? I these items are crazy that we're getting right now. Um, do this. Get some stuff drop. Pick up your soul heart, and I guess you just leave, or I guess you go fight your boss. We gotta fight your boss first, obviously, but... Like, I, I want something more in-depth than just, like... You know, go to a new world to find power that kills boss, kill boss. It's like, the only way that actually works is, like, fucking Mega Man games. No other game has made that formula feel like it's, it's you know, worth a damn, I guess. I, oh, we have the wafer! Oh, fuck! We have the wafer, dude! Free sacrificing all the way. Oh my god. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna be having a ball right now. Like I don't, it's just not interesting to me. And I'm sure that I, I if I would have played more, I would have saw more interesting things. But it seemed just kind of be pretty cut and dry at that point. Ah, amazing. We're getting the bad items out of the way. Don't worry, chat. We're gonna we're gonna get the good items soon. <laughs> just wait. I'm sure they're all waiting for us somewhere. These good angel items. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've been a Metroid fan for a while. I haven't played the games, but I love watching... There's a good one. I love watching, like, um... Uh, like, randomizer runs of the game. Like, I used to watch, um... Oh, who's the, the AGDQ runner? Um, Andy. Who does, like, Metroid... Van like, uh, like, Super Metroid, um... Randomizer runs. Those are cool as shit to watch. I just think that when I played the game, I did not have a great time with it. And that's just me, though. You know, the, the worst thing, I, you know, if it, I, I can't refund it, so the worst thing I'll do is just play it off camera until I beat it, and then just be disappointed, I guess. <laughs> Alright, um... So... We could sacrifice on this run, and make it a quick one, but I do care for my ad revenue a lot more, and I have a feeling this one's gonna be pretty insane anyways. I mean, we have look, look at our seed. E, E, E. This run could be pretty insane either way. And with Fanny Pack... And, um, what's it called? What's, what's this goddamn item called? Fanny Pack and, uh, Piggy Bank. We have a really good chance for a game break. If we find, like, a, a Dice Shard or, um, a D20, we could potentially find Arky again. And I'm not, I know we just got it last run, but imagine getting two in a row after my luck of never seeing it ever. Imagine seeing two in a row. Now, if we found Restock here, insane. And the sacrifice room made this run so much better. But what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go uh, fight, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't have a good time with the game. I thought it was, was pretty lackluster. I think that... Uh, I don't want to call a game overhyped, but I think that people were so obsessed over it for a while. And when it comes down to it for me, it wasn't worth a 10-year wait. That is not a 10-year wait of a game. I understand. We're working on Metroid Prime 4 as well and stuff like that, but... For the first 2D Metroid in, in 10 years, maybe we should just try a little harder. <laughs> I don't know. I was not impressed. For my first Metroid game ever, I was severely underwhelmed. And it, I'm not going to play another Metroid game again, I think, at this point. Because I just didn't like the game that much. I was like, it's just... I don't like being bored. And I play games for fun, not, not to be bored. Like, when I play a game, here is my ideal game. Title screen. Game title. Start. I'm in the game. It's not title screen, you know. Uh, game options. Start. And then, uh, half an hour cutscene, um, ooh, we're Dodgers, we're Dodgers, we are definitely Dodgers right now. We are Dodgers, we are Dodgers? We are farmers, bum ba da bum 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 Um, 30 minute cutscene, and then, uh, tutorial, tutorial, uh, block progression tutorial. I like just going into a game, this is why I like roguelikes so much, right? Think about it this way. When you boot up Isaac, there is no, like, th there is the intro thing you can skip or whatever. You go into a run immediately, you're in the run. There, there's no kind of precursor, you are just in the action. There's no thematic building, there's nothing like that. You go into the game, 
and you're in the action. You are also constantly in the action. Games that like take you out, like for example, there was a scene in Metroid where when you first encounter the enemy, which is it's called like an Emmy, the game plays a cutscene as Samus fights it, and you watch Samus fight it. Why can't I fight the boss? I'm there to play the game. I don't want to watch a, a CGI cutscene of somebody else playing the game for me. Right when you open Isaac or Gungeon or Spelunky, or even hell, even a fucking like Mar like regular ass 2D Mar even 3D Mario games. You are immediately, aside from like Odyssey, obviously, you are immediately in the action. Because when you play a game like Metroid, you understand, you can jump, you can shoot. That's all you gotta know for the first half an hour. As you play the game, the player should figure that, oh my, wait a minute. That's D6? If that was D1, I would have taken it. 100%, but that was D6. I'm, Eternal D6. I, I don't like losing items occasionally. <laughs> I'd rather have my items with me, but... Why do I get to watch a cutscene of uh, them playing the game when I could just simply play the game? It doesn't make any sense to me. That was that was the most like kind of slap in the face moment ever. I was like, damn, I, I guess okay, I, I can watch this play out, but I understand the enemy with the glowing red eye is is bad or Sans even. Who knows? I'll take this sure. Ah, hey, not the greatest. We still have a tears up net, a, a net gain at least still. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't have a good time with it, and I, I think that I, I need to be engaged, right? And nothing in that game, aside from the actual boss fights and, and clearing out new rooms, engaged me. And when literally half of that game is going back through old rooms and clearing out old rooms, I just I just don't have an amazing experience. I just I feel kind of like I'm not doing anything. It's like anti-progression almost, if that makes sense. Like, I'm just replaying everything over and over again until I'm done. It's not my cup of tea. And I understand that, like, you know, Games like Isaac are a bit, you know, oh my, dude, this run is, the shops are so strong on this run. You know what? Yeah, dude, more mapping as well. Buy this. All right, you have one more chance to uh, <laughs> use magic skin with your soul before your soul is dead forever. So make it a good one. Uh, we can get one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll have enough charges to fight, um, or to get it in our devil deal or angel deal here. So we'll be fine on that front. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know. I think the game was, uh, it's my same problem with, uh, with like, RPGs, right? It's just, it's like, when I boot up a game, I'm booting up the game because I want to play the game. I, I don't want to watch, you know, like a five minute, you know, this is you. This is your Pokemon. This is, you know, your Fire Emblem. This is your Omori. I want to just play the goddamn game. Is that so much to ask in a video game nowadays? Like, do I really have to sit through an entire, like, movie before I, like, the games that I like the most, like Isaac, are games that don't explain themselves to you. You just play the game, and you find enjoyment in either the game, or you, you learn about the story through the game. Like, when, when stories are optional to learn, I like that a lot better. Like, in, in a game like, um, I didn't like Omori that much. And I, I think, obviously, I think Omori is a fine game. It won tons of awards, and it probably deserved the awards, too. I'm, I'm sure it's, you know, it's amazing. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad for us. Ouch. Why was it the worst ET ever? Oh my god. We lost tears and damage. Yikes. But Omori, my issue with Omori was the same thing as almost Metroid, where it was... I, I was backtracking a lot to go find what I missed in a previous area. I was never playing the game. I would walk five steps, and, I'd be, and then like some character would be like, Um, Sonny, do you think we're going to be okay? And it's like, can I just walk five fucking steps? I don't want to talk to you, bitch. <laughs> I want to play the goddamn game. I want to get into combat and stuff. And aside from that, ow. I didn't find the combat in Omori to be super engaging. The reason I like Undertale so much, and that being an RPG, and me being like, whoa, he doesn't like RPGs, why does he like Undertale so much? Is because Undertale, like, there is not a single moment in that game where you're not doing something important. When you're in combat, you're not just hitting A and B just to skip through text and, uh, you know, finish off an enemy. You're actively dodging that enemy. That makes it feel so much more real, because you're like, okay, I'm not just sitting here mashing A till the enemy's dead or I spare them. I'm actually dodging the enemy and learning the enemy through acting and through like dodging their attacks. It feels a lot more rewarding. I don't know what, what it is about games that like I, I don't like, you know, not being engaged. I, I get that some games are very story oriented, and I, I, that's fine. It's, it's not for me, obviously, but that's fine. I, I just don't get it, man. I, I just don't like when I'm a game basically tells you, 
hey, hit the, this, this button to play the game. But then also you gotta watch like five minutes of a fucking movie before you can actually hit a button. And then when you hit the button, it's a tutorial. And after that, it's a... Uh, you meet your cast and it takes another half an hour. And then finally, you know, two hours in, you're actually now playing the game for the first time. Like, if a game can't get me into it by within two hours, I'm not gonna play any more of it. Unless I paid for it, obviously. Think of a game like Ultra Kill. Immediately, you are dropped into the game, you walk through a door, and you get a gun. Boom, the game happens. Ultra Kill. Amazing fucking game. Amazing. Oh, baby. Um... I mean, it's not bad to have. Just in case you want it. It'll make magic skin better too, I guess, for you. I don't know, man. Like, we should go for Guppy. We should go to our curse room, by the way, and use this on our curse room for, for, the, for the Guppy chance. But I don't know, man. Like, if I'm open up a game and within two hours, the game has not reeled me in or shown anything unique or interesting for me, I'm not going to play it anymore. Oh, there's two parts, Guppy. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, we can no longer... The soul is now soft-locked and gone for... Well, the rest of this run. <laughs> Unless we die and become Dark Judas, we can come back and get the soul back, maybe. But as, as of now, the soul is now gone. Ow. Motherfucker, dude. That hurts. Honestly hurt. I just like picking up a game, playing the game, and enjoying myself. It's a funny thing, too, because um, I watch a lot of Scott the Waz, and I think that me and him have very similar opinions on games. One of those being that, like, he hates cutscenes. <laughs> he hates RPGs and he hates cutscenes. My kind of guy right there. Scott, if you're single, hit me up. But, oh, I can't even, I gotta be real careful on this front, don't I? The point, like, if I wanted to watch cutscenes, I would just open up my DVD player or Netflix and watch a movie. I want to be the one making the choices. I want to be the one doing the actions. I don't want to be watching a CGI ver version of myself doing the action, you know? It, it's, it shouldn't be an issue to ask somebody, Hey, you want to play a game? Sure. Yeah, let's just watch this movie before we play it. It should just be, you open up a game, you play it. That's my personal opinion. Like, a game like, you know, think of the best-selling games, like, ever. Mario Kart. You know, Tetris. Uh, Minecraft. All those games, you, you pick it up, and you know what you're getting into. Because the game has a set defining tropes that you already know about. Like, th those are kind of weird examples, though, because everybody knows how to play Mario Kart, everyone knows how to play Minecraft and shit. But, like, when I first started playing Minecraft, I was... I had to have been nine. I had to have been nine years old in fourth grade. My friend, uh, Quentin showed me the game. Oh, I'm not- I don't have the fucking soul anymore, you idiot. Um, I must have been, like, nine. And for the first two years of Minecraft, I didn't know how to use a pickaxe. I, I didn't know how to gather cobblestone. What I would do is I would have creepers blow up stone for me, and then I would just use that stone to build with or craft a furnace. I didn't know how to actually harvest the cobblestone for myself. However, I still had a good time with the game because I was nine years old, but also because I, you know, wasn't being constantly forced to... The game wasn't pausing itself and saying with a big flashing text, you can now craft a pickaxe. Pickaxe lets you mine stone. You just figure it out for yourself. And as a player, that brings you more into a game. When you're figuring things out for yourself, ooh, I, I want you, I want you, so bad. What, it's just, I don't know, I just hate the fact that, wait, where did magic skin go? Oh, we popped it, and because we popped it, uh, and, and it killed us, it took the magic skin away, so we're, we're safe from the skin now, we're fine, actually. Sick stuff. But, um... Like, as a player, when you're playing a game, and you figure out a mechanic for yourself, the game then feels that much more fun because you're figuring it out. It's, it's like this. Like what it, let's say you're, you know, hanging out with some friends, and um, there's some drama going on, you know. Let's say your friend fucking, your friend Metroid loves uh, Samus, let's say. That, that, that's the whole allegory here, obviously. And um, they just tell you that. That's still pretty interesting to know. But imagine if you're sitting at home... And you put two and two together yourself. Then you're like, oh shit, that happened. It's, it's a much more rewarding feeling. It's a very dumb allegory, but you know what I'm saying. It's a much more rewarding feeling. And I don't think Metroid is a bad game. I just don't like it for those reasons. Another library, huh? Um, Book of Sin is pretty good. Uh, Book of the Dead is also pretty good. However, Smelter is more interesting than me. 
Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we can we can do this for ourselves here. What I really want to find is a D20 though, because we can use fanny pack and whatever else we got going on here to uh, make some chests in secret rooms and get an R key or a death cert again, maybe game. Or we're Beelzebub, above hell yeah. Lord of the Flies, baby. We can fly now without the soul, and we get more flies for our huge ass uh, hive mind stuff. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just TLDR. I I think that games that you know are are more cutscene than gameplay, and also are like very reliant on you just constantly going back and forth. I just don't find it fun. It's like a trailing mission almost. Actually, it kind of is what it is. What you're trailing in that game is you're marking, like, what someone described Metroid to me as, and they were saying it in a positive light, which I think is crazy, because this just sounds like a negative thing to me. Metroid is the kind of game where you draw a map out yourself and mark down where you think important things are for the future. Doesn't that seem like, does that not seem boring? <laughs> Having to, you know, because the game can't give you a fast travel, like, Here's the thing too, is I understand that walking back through the game is part of the experience, but would a fast travel really kill the game that much? I would have played Metroid longer if there was a fast traveling mechanic where I could have just gone back to previous areas and, you know, done stuff easier. It would have made, like, the progression of the game feel faster. I feel like at this point, when you're playing a game like that, we'll go in here first. Ah, we can't even pick up soul hearts though. Yeah, if you're going this, I guess. Uh, that's the last thing you can do there. Uh, we'll go Polaroid. There's no need to go negative this run. But it's like even a, like having a fast travel in the game. Would have, like, I feel like it's, I got to go back to my point. <sighs> Sorry. I think that part of the reason the backtracking is the way that it is is because it's padding out the game length, if that seems fair. I'm not trying to accuse devs of like artificially expanding their game's time because, you know, it's not long enough, but... I, mean, I gotta give another reason why you'd want to be able to backtrack. Because like every room, like when you go through rooms, the enemies respawn, so it's still pretty annoying. Also, some of the enemies in that game are fucking ridiculous. Those dumbass flying guys who just like home in on you. I hate them. I hate them. I fell off the I fell off the fucking elevator so many goddamn times because of those little guys. But it's just yeah, I can't pick you up, dog. I'm sorry. Oh please, please, please. Like there's no reason to have that kind of like I don't know. That amount of backtracking in the game, no one wants to go back and fight the same room over and over and over again, right? I guess we have the relic. Maybe it would have been better to have it just in case. Who cares at this point? We're fine. Like, I don't know. Like, doesn't... Uh, Guppy, please? Please? Fuck. I cannot fly out of here with the soul. L. I don't, I'm trying to explain what I'm trying to... I'm trying to say it in a, in a, in a better light. Like, I don't want to say like I'm being offensive to the game at all, but... It's just... No one wants to go back through your room and clear it God knows how many times just to go back to a different part of the game and find out, oh, I can't even go there yet because it's blocked off by a weird looking door. Like half the time I spent in the game was me going back to find a, a different exit and then realizing, oh wait, I can't even go there because A, it's one block too high or B, the door isn't openable yet. It just, like, what? <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? Like that, that's, that's your, your... Your progression blocking is just. Oh, we should use this in the in the other room, actually. That's your progress. That's, that's your that's your blocking. Do that. Do that. Come on, fanny pack. Give me a heart here. Thank you, chest. Got one more on us. There we go. Not guppy, but we could be guppy in the future with this, if we, as long as we guarantee we get devil deals from now on. And that is a damage. Oh, we'll take that. We'll take that. We also don't forget we have Dark Judas, so we can respawn whenever we feel like it. Ooh, nice. That's really good for us, actually. Let's, let's take it right now. I don't want to backtrack all the way back here for it. <laughs> it's just... It just feels like it's a waste of time. I feel like I'm wasting more time in that game than I am actually enjoying the game. When I, when I complain about a game more than I actually praise it, I'm not having a good time. And I should have... Oh, wow. We got a reverse card on this bitch now. Huh? 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 Ah, I don't know about that one. Ooh. Interesting. I'll do it. Cut speed down. Tears down. Gulp. Uh, Horf. Hmm. Not the greatest. Uh, I mean, you gotta go with the Chaos card, right? I know Black Room's fun, but... That's a goddamn chaos card right there. 
we can one-shot Mega Satan with this. His first phase, at least. Which I, I think we honestly will do that. We have the key pieces for it. We can beat phase two pretty easily. Although I think with Forgotten and No Soul, phase two is harder. Because you gotta play Melee. I'm, I'm gonna Chaos card phase two, I think. And we'll go, we'll go from there, but... We just did so much damage there. Holy shit. From what, though? Back up. I don't know. I just don't like the game. That's all. And before I may make anyone angry, again, that is just my opinion on a video game. This is not going to be another Omori situation where I say, I don't like Omori, and everyone's like, what? But it is good, and here's why. And I'm like, yeah, I don't like that. You don't like that? You're the fucking worst. I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> That's not in my, my wheelhouse right now. And I got to remember that most of you guys on the internet that are... Uh, watching me are not my age that's another one of the issues like whenever i'm talking to somebody online i picture them as my age when normally you guys are like you guys are like between the ages of like 12 and 16 which is i'm not saying it's a bad thing you you can be 12 i'm not gonna 12 shame you but you can't really argue on the same mental basis with someone who is that much younger than you you know what i'm trying to say like it's just it's not it's not healthy, nor does it make any progress, because there's a different kind of mental fortitude there. When you're a teenager, or when you're, like, you know, still in, like, high school or middle school, your idea of, like, an argument is just getting angry. Getting very, very angry. And because you're angry, and because you have passion, you would think you are right. Not the case. I was, I was like that when I was, you know... I, I am only 19, I'm still kind of like that, but I was like that way more when I was in, like, middle school and then sophomore year and shit. Oh, these beautiful portals, by the way. You gotta love them. Okay, don't die here, please. You do not have that much HP. You have the wafer, though. Don't kid yourself. You telefragging motherfucker. Go to jail. Literally, literally go to jail. Literally. Bang. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. No more. No more. You're dead. You're dead, bitch. Die, bitch. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Ooh. How are you alive? Uh, should we go look for a secret room? We might want... No, nah, there's no point. We don't, we don't have D20. We, there's no point in looking for one. If we get one on the chest, though, I would not be opposed, huh? So I was, like, when I was young... Like, the younger you are, the worse you are at arguing. Because you either result to ad hominems or, like... You just... Wait a minute. We can uh, get an Arky here, gamers. Wow. Amazing room, Edmund. Um, so, D100 is a very interesting dice. We are going to get an Arky here. I'm going to make it happen. We're going to get two Arky runs in a row. You are you are not going to believe this ship. As long as our, our plan works out for me. Kill, get healthier. Please, hearts to the ground. Or HP up. Okay, good. Uh, is mom transformation? Yeah. Clear every single... What you want to see is a lot of hearts on the ground. A lot of hearts on the ground. Because you have Wafer. Oh, and you got Golden Bombs. Huge. Actually, really, really good for us. Leave that on the ground. Leave that on the ground. This is going to be a big brain strap. We might lose the run because we're going to have to D100 ourselves. And like D4 and D6 everything. So we might not be able to win the run. But I will try for a goddamn Arky. I will try. Alright. Oh, kill him last. Kill him last. Or nine lives from this guy, maybe? I don't really care. Hey, health, health is still... That's a lot of HP, so that's very, very good for us. Okay. My plan here is to use Fanny Pack and Swallowed Penny in the secret room to get a bunch of drops on the ground. Use D100 to, to uh, D100 to uh, D20 those bitches, and then turn those into chests. Because they're in the secret room, there'll be secret room pool items, which is a high chance of it being Arky or Death Surf, or even Forget Me Now to that extent. Ow! That's really good, actually. <laughs> we have a great build for that to work. Okay, where is your secret room? Show me the way. Not there. It's not going to be there. All right. Wow, we crush. We have... Oh, sacks as well. Nice stuff. Is it right here? Not right there. Is it down, maybe? Down. No, you, you're not right there. Card drop. Oh, it's really good as well for that kind of room. And this run's kind of popping off for us right now. All right, put that down there. Pick it up. Who cares? It's not there either. Where is this bitch? Dead. Actually, just, just straight up dead. More of you? Okay, now you're dead. 
We should save our money for our Wheel of Fortune, though. Oh my god, you're hilarious. You're honestly so fucking funny, game. Uh, oh, no, go go for a Dead Cat here. Go for 9 lives for Guppy, as well as uh, extra HP to sack away with your plan. Wow, it died. What killed it? I have no idea. We got a lot of Solis if we want to become a Dark Judas and get even more HP sacked. That would not be a terrible idea. You know what? Fuck this room. Fuck this room. I don't care about it. I do not care about it. What do you got for me? Pause, huh? So, is our secret room, is it adjacent to here or here? Not, it's gotta be here then, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and, oh, and money on the ground, okay. Here is what you want to do. You're gonna start taking a lot of damage in this room. And dropping a lot of stuff on the ground. Okay? You're going to then go pick up a lot of red HP and walk back in there. If we can force a second Arky on this run, I'm going to lose my shit. Two in a row would be unheard of for a guy like me. For a, for a young man of my, of my stature, would be unheard of. Now, it is going to D7 the room. I don't know if that's going to spawn Greed back or teleport us out. I don't know which one that'll do. Don't pick it up, you idiot. That's not funny, you idiot. Okay. Got a lot of money on the ground. We, we can do more, though. We have a lot more Red Heart HP. If this fucking works, dude. If this works... I'm going to be a one happy-ass camper. And I get... Like, games are also, by the way, very subjective. So let me reiterate again, so no one gets really pissed off down below, is that in the end, what this is called is a difference of opinion. <laughs> That's all I got to say. You cannot just disagree with somebody's fucking opinion. You can say, I think your reasonings are, are a little weird, but in the end of the day, it's my reasonings. Get over it. <laughs> all it is... All it is. I just really want to get a fucking Arky right now. Okay, I'm pissed. I'm pissed as hell. Or Death Star. Either one's fine. Either one is fine. Aw, oh, bitch mate. Actual bitch mate. Ooh, watch out. That was a really good drop for us. Thank you, Fanny Pack. Okay. Careful navigation here. This is going to be a really good run for us. This might be one of our best runs, potentially. If we can swing this in the right order, we are... I'm not going to say we're guaranteed anything right now. But there is a large, high chance of us getting what we need here. Because while chests open up in there, they may, they may not be a secret room pool. Wow, immediately. But when they re-roll with our D100, they will be. Okay, good angle on that one. Careful, careful. Uh, how many more hearts you got on the ground over there? You got, uh, looks like there's one or maybe two down below and a half heart in our room below our starting room, it looks like. Okay. Oh, there's two down here. How many are down here? You have one. All right. So let's go do a full clear right now so we have all the HP we know we're going to have on the ground. And hold onto this just for safekeeping. Just for safekeeping. Now, if that respawns greed, even better for us. Oh, no. We should, we should not. Because we have one, two, three, four, five. We want to not clear any more rooms right now. So we want to have at least two charges on this D100. All right. Okay. Oh, no. Why did, why did I go in here? Why did I? I'm, I'm so dumb. I'm actually stupid. Actually, like, mentally gone right now. Uh, that's, that's a hard for us. Maybe it was a good choice after all. All right. Right here, right now, baby. Golden bomb. Number one. Oh, I picked it up. We got, we got, we got a bomb on the ground anyways. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Uh, you have one more heart to go and get, and you can drop your chaos card on there too. Why not? Just to get an extra roll done. And then Bob's your uncle. You have one, two, you have, yeah, enough rooms if all of them have combat in them to give you what you need here. This is our last time walking back. Game, see it in your heart to make this real. You got this. I, I believe in my game right now. I have faith in my, in my Isaac. Okay. We're going to go pretty deep on our HP here because we do have um, Dark Judas available. So we're actually going to kill ourselves, I think, right now. We're going to kill ourselves right now. Okay, one bone heart gone. Two bone heart gone. Walk out. Polaroid's gone. Walk down here. Polaroid's gone again. Get it out of there. And you want to die right here. Respawn out here. 
What's your build? Oh, very good still. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your soul hearts. And as, as many as you can. You should feel safe going down to three hearts here because you have the wafer. Six hearts of this character would be easy. We have a 16 damage uh, <laughs> laser in front of us. We should be A-OK. -okay. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. We can walk up one more and grab this one. And we do have some that could drop us extra shit if we use them in here. So, what are these? Don't pick it up, though. Be careful. Uh, walk out. Polaroid's going to be so annoying here. Hold on. Be very annoying to have Polaroid right now. We have to find a safe place to do this so we don't, like, lose everything. I want to just, like, be really cautious. Okay, go up. That's a good spot. A good spot is, like, right down here. Okay. Very, very good. Make them all fly away, just like that. Walk back in. Walk down. Beat me up, Scotty. There we go. I'm going to go down to three hearts here. One. Two. And because we have a chance to drop extra stuff, I am going to grab these solis right here. No more HP on the ground, so we're cool. All right. One. Walk out. This should be two. This should be your last one. Okay, now what you want to do, as weird as this sounds, is pop that down. Play it out. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, we have Spirit Sword now. Sick shit. Uh, stop this, please. I don't want to be here right now. I don't want to pick anything up. Okay. You're cool, you're cool, you're cool. Bump friend, no! Wait, no, actually, bump friend, good. Because you're going to drop chests in here, yeah? What we need is chests. But Loki's horns is right there. Odd mushroom. We got this. We want all these to be chests right now. Everything should be... We can pick up anything that we want right now. Ow! What hit me? Um, got me a card. Moon card's fine. We'll pop this to keep ourselves a little safe. All right. Okay, pretty much open every chest. Pick everything up that you want to have. Um, do you have, like, bad PhD? I don't think you do, so don't even worry about popping these. Pick everything up. Pick everything up. All right. Ooh, pair throw. Nice. That's actually really, really good for us. Okay. Uh, what's this card? Death? Okay. So what is our build right now? Uh, really good tiers, really good damage, and yeah. Okay, this is a really good build. Problem is our, our HP is in a bad place. We can get one more D6 off, though, in there. How good is it really, though? Ooh, it's actually really good build. Okay, yeah, 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 I like this. Back to the melee builds right now from Forgotten. Okay, you are now charged all the way up. Go back in and pray for a Death Cert or an Arky in this room. If nothing happens, end your run. I do see a glitched crown. Oh yeah, there's, there's a guy in here now, right. Heck, and that. A reroll? Damn, nothing still, huh? Um, we lost D100 as well, which is kind of a poor choice. We have a great build right now, though. Holy. Uh, let's play our floor out and not pick anything up. Yep, I want to see if we can maybe get some kind of other reroll going on in there. Because we're, we're close to an R key. I just don't really see it happening. This build right now is good enough that I go fight Delirium or some shit. We're going to be fine. This this run is 2020, uh, and Inner Eye. Plus, whatever, the I, I Soar and Pentagram and Tech 2 and False PhD this time? Crazy. I have to play out your floor and see what happens. That's a damage up for us right there. Be careful, be careful. You can still lose. You know, you're not in the, you're not in the safe zone yet until you've actually beaten the run out. Uh, looks like no rerolls happening for us. We should have not Dice of Fate until... I was hoping for like a D6, not a D1, like not a D100 there, but... I guess you get what you deserve, right? We'll go up here. I think we're out of options, gamers. I think we are out of options. Golden Bombs, though, still. Plus, his creep is not bad. What are you? Pick it up. 
Uh, death is fine. As, as I always say in my, my runs. Yeah, I think this is uh, the end of the road for your rolls. Hey, good good chance, though. We had a good chance for it. Just the game does not want us to see Arky, it looks like. Understandable. Have a good day. Man, where is our super secret? I don't, I don't even care. Pick it all up. Pick it all up. HP, curse immunity, plus lock, all stats, keeper sack, uh, transcendence means you can fly, hemolacry, of course, my, one of my favorites. That's pretty good, I guess. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that, plus spirit shackles, amazing stuff right there. And we get the little keeper guy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Grab your... Oh, where's our Chaos card? Did we lose our Chaos card? Oh, man. Go fight Blue Baby, then go fight your uh, Mega Satan there. Hey, we tried. We tried. Just unlucky stuff happening all across the board there. Wow. That is uh, quite the tear spread right there. Wow, and, and that does a lot of damage as well. Okay. Yeah, go fight Mega Satan now. Who cares? Everything's fine. So if we had not uh, done our Dice of Fate there... We may have been able to take... Wait, did that reroll everything? <gasps> no! 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 What the fuck? How does that shit work? 48 hour energy, please. We have Godhead. Oh, yeah, Spirit Sword. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, fuck. All I can hope for now is uh, goddamn Void Floor working out for us. I don't think we have anything that's, like, harm-worthy. I don't think we have any, um, uh, like, fanny packs on us right now. What? Dude, we could have actually got an R key there. That fucking blows. Dice of Fate, you're an ass. Unless we get, like, a battery super... I know it's taking a while here, but I want to make this shit work. If we get a battery super secret here, it could pan out for us. You never know, man. We've seen a lot of items on this run. We're, we're, our pool is definitely very thin. Pick it up. 48 hour energy. We'll grind here. It's fine, guys. I, I'm, I have time to spare. I'd also... I, I would like to get an Arky, you know? Whether it can give us a battery out of this or some kind of pill or some kind of... Any kind of active item thing here. Like, out of trinket that could give us stuff. I don't know. I, I'm grabbing at straws, but it, it could be worth it. We are seeing a wide, array, a wide array of trinkets as well, excuse me, which is nice to see. Spirit hearts are also not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, well, um, if we can find a Wheel of Fortune card or a Judgment for next floor, we can probably also force an Arky in the Void if we get a Void. It's very, very low chance, but it could happen. We have a 50-50 shot, you never know. Last one. Uh, hey, full HP is not bad. I'll, I'll take it. And the money we'll take back as well. Okay. Floor, I will say, kind of a bust. However, look at this build. You have Lead Pencil plus a Spirit Sword. Very, very good, plus Godhead, plus 20 damage Spirit Sword. is not bad at all. I mean, any damage Spirit Sword could win you runs. I rolled record, and Isaac is with Spirit Sword and Sacred Hearts. So like, even like a 10 damage one is, I'm going the wrong way, is really, really good. Now, if we get a Void Floor, I'm comfortable in saying... A Death Cert or an Arky is an order. We've seen a lot of the um, the secret room items so far. I wouldn't be surprised if we see another one. Not bad. All right. Finish it off. Death, uh, Devil card here just for the extra damage. Why not? We also have a lot of familiars back there, man. Oh, you're fucked, kid. You're actually so done. Oh, there we go. E oh, dude, we are so OP right now. The double spirit sword finds on this re reroll has been crazy. Love me as a spirit sword, plus some godhead, as well as some 120 volt. Curved horn helping a lot. Hive mind still sticking around to the very end here. Of course, lucky sack is also here. We are not Lord of the Flies anymore, sadly. I wish we were. Honest to God, I wish we were. Nice dodges. Are you already gone? I mean, this is running. Okay, please, void floor. Please, void floor. Okay, here we go. No damage yet. We're doing pretty damn well. Get the spamming ready. I don't even care. Get hit. I don't even care. He's already going down, dude. He's already going to die here soon. How did we not get hit any of those times? Only a two hit on the second phase? Maybe a... Th wow. 
Well, that's the end of the run right there, isn't it? Yeah, we're not that lucky. Damn, we would have had one too. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the run, hit the like, hit the sub, hit the hit the uh, the comments. It helps the algorithm more than you guys know. Aside from that, all of my socials are down below. Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Give them a shout. Aside from that, guys, I will see you later. Peace out and goodbye.